Welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 6th of April. The local media headlines today. Battle lines are being drawn over whether or not Cornwall should have a directly elected mayor. The question is on the agenda for a meeting of Cornwall Council next week. Next week's meeting won't approve the idea without more information, but it might rule it out completely if councillors come up with enough procedural obstacles. That would leave only a referendum for those who want to keep the idea of a mayor alive. Tim Smith's plans to turn Lost Withiel's golf course into a residential centre for studying all aspects of plants and what to do with them have won the backing of county hall officials. They still have to navigate a committee next week. A pair of former mayors from Wadebridge have arrived in Prague with a vanload of goodies for Ukrainian refugees. Cornwall councillors are trying to get more information about what's going on in their own local divisions. And the St Austell D-Day veteran and champion fundraiser Harry Billinge has died. He was 96. Two years ago, the Queen awarded him the MBE. Pirate FM was among those to note that the decline in Covid testing has not brought about any decline in the death rate. Twelve people in Cornwall died last week within 28 days of a positive diagnosis. The Falmouth Packet reported good news for the Helston Town Band. The Cornish Times covered a community effort to keep dob walls tidy. And finally, Cornwall Live tells us that a woman who's on the telly has sold her house. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.